What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick one, I'll be showing you how to fix time not syncing on your system. This can be an incredibly simple issue or one that's a bit more in depth. Essentially, I have two factor authentication codes for different apps and programs, but my system time is about 30 to 40 seconds off, meaning that nothing works. This is incredibly frustrating and following the basic methods doesn't seem to work for me. So we'll run through a few basic ways of syncing your system time with a cloud and then shortly after after the nuclear option. So without further ado, let's begin. Simply start by opening up settings, then head across to time and language, and on this tab, date and time, then we can customize a few things. First of all, make sure your time zone is correct up here and your region as well. You can change these by unticking set it automatically and choosing a time zone manually here, or assuming it's already correct, simply make sure that set time automatically is off, then turn it back on. Shortly after, your time should be reset. Then then just down here, you'll find a sync now button. If turning it off and on didn't work, click sync now. And just like that, your time should be up to date. However, this still does not work for me. And as you can see, things look a little bit different on my system to yours. Simply put, I'm using different time servers than what you are default on your system. This is the nuclear option and is still probably as good as anything. If for some reason you're not able to reach time.windows.com where your system gets its time from, we can manually change this to a different server. Let's begin. Hit start and search for terminal, command prompt, or PowerShell, then right click and choose run as administrator. In here, type in W32TM space followed by forward slash R-E-S-Y-N-C, so W32TM slash resync and hit enter. Then it'll ask your system to refresh its time from the internet, getting it to be accurate. This is as good as clicking the sync button. And if you're unlucky like me, you may end up with things like this RPC server is an available error and even manually defining a time server doesn't seem to work for me. So for example, W32TM slash resync slash computer colon followed by an address. This could be time.windows.com or you can Google NTP servers to get a list of time servers for your country or your area. Then inside of here or wherever you are, you'll likely find addresses that you can simply enter in this section here. So computer colon followed by an address space forward slash no wait. When you do so, it'll get the latest time from whatever address this is and sync your computer to it. Well, let's assume that even this doesn't work. Well, the next thing we can do is nuclear and basically reset the time system. This is simple to do. Simply check the description down below. We'll find this command here as well as a few others. So net stop W32 time will stop the time system. Then we'll be entering this huge long list of time servers so there's multiple ones listed here. Basically, all of these are in the US, but ping shouldn't really be too much of an issue. It should still be really accurate. I'll hit enter and this will change our server list of where our system can get its time from. Then the next line enables it essentially. And finally, net start enables the time service once more where it should shortly after sync up. You can double check it by using the commands query configuration. We'll get a ton of information about your system and its time system as well as query status, which tells you a bit more about it. And you should get a really accurate time example here, as well as how accurate it is, etc. Tons of nerdy details, but for the most part, this actually fixed my system's clock being out of sync. And now if I open up settings, head back to time and language, followed by date and time, you'll see that the section here is changed. We can click sync now, and this should actually work, whereas before it didn't. Why exactly this is, I'm not too sure. It could be a firewall thing, antivirus thing, or anything like that. Even one of the programs I installed could have messed around with it. Anyways, by now, everything should be working fine. And now you know how to do the basic methods, as well as the nuclear method, if things don't seem to work for you. Anyways, hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.